Simpsons reference. Anybody get the Simpsons reference? That was Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. Anyway, this is different. I've uh, been doing these concerts for 20 years and I think this is the first time I've ever gotten to introduce myself. Normally that's the principal's job. Mr. Kidd had all, he had, he had every intention of being here tonight and he is sick. He called me earlier today and he, he was so sorry that he couldn't come and be a part of the art show that he really wanted to see and to, uh, to introduce me and these wonderful kids and uh, you know introduce this concert that you're all about to hear. And he was so sick I couldn't even hardly understand what he was saying. He was just all, he had this nasal, you know, you've all been there, right? Um, he was sneezing and coughing and runny nose um, all, all morning and all day. So he felt really bad that he could not be here tonight. So I get to introduce myself. Is that all right with all of you? This is so weird. It's like, a, I feel like I'm a, a, a live game show host here. I have a, a live audience and then also people watching from home. So welcome to the home viewers. Uh, we all know, though, if there's a, a game show host in the house, it would, of course, be Brandon Wills, who's our future game, game show host, no doubt about it. So without further ado, my name is Scott Ruppel, and I am the music director here at Jabot. And this is my 20th year. It's my 19th spring concert, thank you, COVID, but it is my 20th year, and we are really, really excited to be here tonight. We have some wonderful music prepared for you. How many of you like music of the decade of the 2000s? Well, you're in for a treat tonight. We have some of the top hits from the decade. And uh, we're gonna get things started off with the band Green Day. And of course, everybody knows Green Day. They, know, they need no introduction. Green Day has sold 75 million records worldwide. 75 million records. They've been nominated for 20 Grammy Awards and they've won five of them. And this arrangement is going to feature three of their most famous songs, American Idiot, Wake Me Up When September Ends, and Boulevard of Broken Dreams. So welcome to Jabot, welcome to the annual spring concert and senior art show. I hope you enjoy our first song, Green Day, the best of Green Day. Thank you. 
you know, as a music director, one of the things that makes me so proud is uh, when some of my students do things that are musical outside of band or chorus or jazz band. And we have a number of students who, who do a variety of things. For example, um, we have a freshman, Brock Murphy, who earlier today, he participates in a couple of different bands, I believe, and earlier today, he played uh, a benefit concert. Is that right, Brock? So, um, you know, things like that. Well, one of our students took one of those Green Day songs, um, the middle song, uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends, and uh, she taught herself how to play ukulele, and then she wrote her own lyrics to that melody, entitled it, Wake Me Up When Corona Ends. And, uh, it, you know, every time I think about COVID and I start to struggle, I think of that song. So, thank you, Marie Bitts. <laughs> Our next song is a really popular song called Fireflies by Owl City. Um, it was described by one of the band members as a little song about bugs and not being able to fall asleep at night. I hope you enjoy Fireflies. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. The song was so much fun to work on and play. Kids always really liked it whenever uh, I said it was time to work on Fireflies. Our next song uh, also needs no introduction. As with most songs tonight, you're going to know just about everything, I think, if you listen to the radio at all. Um, this is a song called Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. It won Best Rock Song at the 46th Annual Grammy Awards. It is considered one of the best rock songs of the decade. I hope you like Seven Nation Army. Some of them you, you might get, some of them maybe not. 
Um, but why did Bonham fall off the stage? It was because he was too close to the edge. Yeah. I like this one. What did Jay-Z call his girlfriend while they were engaged? Fiance. You got it, that's right. You got it. One more for now, this is a good one. My roommate gets home late at night and he hears me listening to my Kelly Clarkson playlist while I'm in the shower. When I get out, he asks, dude, how long have you been listening to this? And I said, well, at least since you've been gone. <laughs> Our next arrangement is called Outcast in Concert. Outcast is a hip hop duo. Uh, they are considered one of the greatest hip hop duos of all time. And this is two of their more popular songs, The Way You Move and Hey Ya.
Was that fun or what? I love that arrangement. We've had so much fun working on that song. Tons of fun to play. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. At this time, we are going to take a minute to introduce our seniors. And uh, normally, um, the seniors would all record their favorite memory or their favorite band moment. And uh, we would display it on the screen. But um, space was somewhat limited since we're so spread out. And so this year, I decided to let them come up and do it live. <laughs> so, God help us all. We're going to hear from our seniors one at a time. And um, at this moment, I realized that I left their certificates in my office. So I'm gonna run and get those really fast as I introduce our first band senior, which is Molly Biltman. Also, the 
sophomore year Kansas City trip, but more specifically, um, Mrs. Asker came on it with us because she's in a jazz band, and she taught a bunch of the girls water aerobics one morning at 8 a.m. in the pool. <laughs> It's with a, a very heavy heart that I tell you about our next senior, Peyton Schultz. Um, Peyton really wanted to be here today, and as a lot of you know, Peyton is not feeling well. He's sick in the hospital and was unable to make it. So we uh, are performing with heavy hearts tonight as we're missing having Peyton. Um, but he is here in spirits, I assure you. And uh, Peyton has been a wonderful band member and uh, music member in general. He was in band and jazz band for all four years, and he also has been in the chorus and the liturgical music for three years. So you can see he has been quite active. I believe he did all the musicals and plays as well. And uh, he's just a big part of our music program, and um, you know, we really miss having him here tonight. I thought maybe we could say a prayer together for him. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we ask that you be with Peyton tonight. We ask that you uh, bring your healing hands upon him. Help him to feel better as he is sick and he is sad that he can't be here tonight. And we're all sad as well. Please help his doctors figure out what is causing all of his so that they can get it corrected and get Peyton back to the school that he loves and the school that loves him. And let us pray in our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peyton, we hope that you're watching. We miss you and hope that uh, you get better soon. How about a round of applause for Peyton? Mr. Rupel into thinking I was a 
on you because I didn't actually forget Joseph. I did that intentionally since they all tricked me his junior year into thinking that he was a senior. So we have this tradition in the band that if you have a birthday, if you're a senior and you have a birthday on a school day, all of the freshmen stand and they shout happy birthday to you really, really, really loudly. And when Joseph was a junior, they all convinced me he was a senior and he got shouted at by all of the freshmen. So this was payback, loser. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I actually didn't, uh, I actually did forget him, it was total, total accident. But I had a rose for him, if that counts, I definitely had a rose ordered for him, no doubt about it. The concert band has one more song we would like to play, it is so much fun, I'm so excited, you're going to love it. Um, this is an arrangement of uh, Taylor Swift songs called Taylor Swift in Concert. And of course Taylor Swift no, needs no introduction, but just in case I don't know, you've been living under a rock in the last 20 years. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Taylor Smith. She is one of the most iconic figures, <laughs> Taylor Swift, in entertainment today. She sold 200 million record sales worldwide, 200 million. She has 11 Grammy Awards, a Brit Award, an Emmy Award, 28 Guinness World Records, 32 American Music Awards, 23 Billboard Music Awards, She's eighth on the Billboard Greatest of All Times chart. So, she's rather iconic, as I said. So these are three of her most popular songs, Picture to Burn, White Horse, and Love Story. I hope you enjoy.
much. Give us just a minute and we will continue the concert with the chorus. Chorus, are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? Can you say it with a little conviction? Yeah. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Home viewers, are you ready? Yeah. We'll just assume they are. Our first song is uh, a really fun song uh, by Miley Cyrus called Party in the USA. Uh, this song is about her move from little old Nashville, Tennessee, to the big city of Hollywood, California. And uh, I told the chorus the other day when we were singing this song, I said, you know, if you really think about it, Miley was kind of pouring her heart out in this song, you know? She was, she was vulnerable. She was this, uh, this little old country girl from Nashville and uh, moving to the big city and um, just kind of, you know, threw herself out there in these lyrics. And so I've always kind of respected her for this song and enjoyed it because of that reason. And just out of curiosity, some of you will remember Miley Cyrus in her younger days as Hannah Montana Band. Chorus, honestly, how many of you watched Hannah Montana? <laughs> some of my kids are guilty as well. Nothing wrong with that. I hope you enjoy Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus.
Thank you so much. Our next song is called Need You Now by Lady Antebella, and, uh, which is a country music trio. And this song spent five weeks as the number one on the Billboard Hot Country chart in 2009. So definitely one of the most popular songs from that year. I hope you enjoy Need You Now. Our next song is a really fun song. I remember uh, when this song was really popular, 
uh, there was a former band student by the name of Jake Posey. And just about every time Jake, I saw him in the hallway, he was always singing this song. And so it always reminds me of Jake Posey. Raise your hand if you know Jake Posey. Shout out to Jake. All right. Um, <laughs> this song is from 2008. And it spent 76 weeks, 76 weeks on the Hot 100. And we are going to feature three soloists in this song. I hope you enjoy Jason Morass's I'm Yours.
Our first soloist was Ling Pace. Followed by Elena Hermans. And last but not least, Maria Biss. I think it's time for the Hawk Appellate.
so much. I have to tell you, the, uh, the Hacapellas, we rehearse uh, a couple of days before school, starting at 7.15 in the morning, twice a week, and uh, you know, that's quite a commitment that they have to make. And man, has it been a struggle this year, especially this semester, to try and have rehearsal time where all eight of them are able to be there. For one reason or another, we've had lots of sicknesses, um, lots of things that have happened that have kept us where it seems like every practice we're missing one or we're missing two um, or we're missing more. Uh, and we talked about it this morning or this afternoon at practice 
We don't think that we've had a full rehearsal with all eight of them actually present since before the senior service project, and that was quite some time ago. So um, this morning, I keep saying this morning, this afternoon, uh, they were able to run through those songs together as a group for the first time in quite a while, and I think they did a good job. How about another round of applause for them? Our next song is called Bless the Broken Road by Rascal Flatts. Um, this song was originally from 1994 by the Nitty Gritty Dirty Band. Raise your hand if you have heard of the Nitty Gritty Dirty Band. They originally wrote this song um, all the way back in 1994. However, it was uh, Rascal Flatts that made it most popular in the decade of the 2000s. It's been recorded by many, many artists. Um, but with Rascal Flatts' version in 2005, it did reach number one on the Billboard Country Music Charts. So I hope you enjoy this beautiful song, Bless the Broken Road.
at this time we are going to introduce the core seniors, and I am determined not to forget anybody this time. And so, um, some of these kids are already in band, and uh, so you already heard from them. However, if they were also in chorus for uh, four years, they still get a rose. Um, so our first chorus senior, who was only at Chabot for two years, but was in chorus for both years, is Molly Biltman. Nick Chambers. Our next senior, senior was in course for two years, Caitlin Johnson. senior comes from Spain and he has been here for one year and it has been a pleasure to have him in class. Luis Reventos. should be up here singing with us today um, and be recognized as a three-year chorus member and uh, we are keeping him in our prayers. So how about a round of applause for all of us? since Caitlin brought it up, I feel like I need to tell another joke or two real fast. Um, again, these are Brennan's jokes. Keep in mind, Brennan Wills is responsible for these jokes. For better or for worse. Actually, these are pretty good. They're way better than the ones I was finding. But uh, what do you call Kim Kardashian's husband with a broken compass? Kanye East. <laughs> Why does Snoop Doggy Dog carry an umbrella? Faux drizzle. <laughs> and we'll save the last few for the jazz band. The chorus wants to sing one more song for you tonight. We are down to one song, right? Yes. Just make sure. This is a really, um, really fun song, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol from 2006. Snow Patrol is a Scottish, Northern, Irish, alternative rock band. That's a mouthful. And uh, 
They gained popularity after being used in the show Grey's Anatomy. Raise your hand if you watched Grey's Anatomy or still watch Grey's Anatomy. When we were all put in quarantine last year, about 13 months ago, whatever it was, 14 months ago, my wife and I, we binge watched all 19 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. It was epic. Somehow we still managed to raise our kids during that process too. You know, I mean, they know where the bowls are and the cereal, so they were fine, right? I'm kidding. So this is Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. I hope you like it.
going to get the jazz band set at this time. And uh, while the jazz band is getting set, uh, Mrs. Andrea Bisk is going to come up and do a drawing. Thank you. 
How are we doing? Is everybody still out there? Is everybody still awake? Are you ready for some more music? We've got some really, really fun songs that you are going to absolutely love. And what better song to kick things off with than the Black Eyed Peas, I Got a Feeling. This song was very popular in 2009 and was fifth on Billboard's Hot 100 songs of the entire decade. So I hope you like the Black Eyed Peas, I Got a Feeling. Oh. 
So since we're doing music of the, the decade of the 2000s, I challenged Brennan to try and find some jokes about Generation Z. And uh, really, really hard to find any good jokes about Generation Z because all they want to do is pick on the millennials. But anyway, here's a couple that Brennan found that I thought were pretty funny, and I promise they're short. Um, Generation Z, they think, they're, they think they're so much smarter than their parents for not falling for the Facebook conspiracy theories, only to end up falling for the TikTok conspiracy theories. And the other one which totally slams millennials is Generation Z wants to be famous, but not good at anything. They totally just stole millennial culture. So those are some Generation Z jokes for you, courtesy of Brennan. How about a round of applause for the jokes tonight for Brennan Brothers. I feel like I'm at a Cardinal game with all these Ric Flair woos. Our next song is a, a bit of a tradition that we have here at Jabot, and that is to feature our seniors in an improvisational solo. And so I always try and teach the jazz band that improvisation is arguably the most important element of jazz music. I mean, when you, when you look back at the history of jazz, you know, improvisation was the, the key element. And so, um, although maybe not so much in the swing era, the big band era, that, that we perform most music from as we are a swing band or a big band, um, but, but still there was improvisation in those styles of music, just maybe not so much as other styles of music, uh, of other styles of jazz like bebop or cool jazz. But nonetheless, I still like to teach at least the very basics of jazz improvisation. As you know, rehearsal time is limited. I only get to see these kids uh, a couple of times a week for about 30 minutes. And so we do what we can in the, in the middle of learning all of these wonderful songs that we perform. We do work on jazz improvisation a bit. And so tonight, we have two seniors that we're going to feature with the song. And we're going to use the song Freddie Freeloader by Miles Davis to feature these seniors. So I hope you enjoy it.
first soloist was Josh Matthews on the trombone. And Nick Chambers on the alto saxophone. And again, I just want to mention that Peyton Schultz would have been our third senior soloist. He is part of the jazz band as an auxiliary percussionist. And so he was going to play uh, an improvised solo on the bongos and the congas, and it was going to be cool. So Peyton, we are still thinking about you, buddy, and missing you. We have a couple more songs that we would like to play for you tonight. This next one is a fun song, Mission Impossible, the theme from Mission Impossible, uh, the Paramount motion picture. Um, this was interesting that I did not realize. Uh, I'm curious how many of you knew this. Uh, that Mission Impossible was originally a television series. Raise your hand if you knew that Mission Impossible was originally a television series. Anybody back there? Well, I did not know that, but I love the movie Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. And in the decade of the 2000s, um, was Mission Impossible 2 and 3. So this is the theme. We're down to our final two songs. 
Uh, the next one is by Coldplay from 2008, titled Viva La Vida. Um, it became the band's first number one single in both the U.S. and the U.K. It also won a Grammy Award for Song of the Year in 2008. This is Coldplay's Viva La Vida. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Uh, I just have a few announcements before we play our last song. First of all, uh, a special thanks to Caleb Hugger for running the sound for us all night. Running across the table. And 
Also, a uh, special thanks to Todd Best for doing the live stream tonight. Thank you, Todd. Uh, next, I'd like to thank Mrs. Diane Corzine and the senior artist. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out the artwork in that lobby, it's an absolute must before you leave tonight. Wait till you hear what Mrs. Corzine said about the art display that is in that lobby. First of all, um, parents, grandparents, do any of you know how many years Mrs. Corzine has been at Jabot? It's 43. 43 years Diane Corzine has been our teacher at Jabot. Wait till you hear this. She has told us that this is her finest art show in 43 years. Right there in that lobby tonight is her finest art show in 43 years. She went on to say that she would not hesitate to display in her house at least one piece from every single artist. And I believe there are 14 of them. So um, an amazing, an amazing display of art. So make sure that you check that out. I can draw stick people personally. I did once invent the pregnant stick person, which I thought was rather creative. So yes, make sure that you look at the artwork. Very, very impressive. Um, and lastly, you know, I just wanted to, to say a couple of things. Um, 43 years is a long time. 20 years is my number for this year, and that feels like a really, really long time. 20 years is a long time to be in one place. And I can honestly say that it, this has probably been the hardest year of my teaching career in the past 20 years with everything that has been thrown at us and, and, uh, and everything that we've had to overcome. Um, it's been very, very, very difficult uh, this year, to say the least. But I do want to say... students every day and uh, and to work at such a special place you know I, I, I sometimes tell people that I've had opportunities to go to other schools but I decided to stay here because I think that Chabot is so special and it's just such a special place and I truly do feel blessed to be here so thank you all for uh, being part of the Chabot family and uh, allowing me to stay here for 20 years And lastly, I just wanted to uh, tell the seniors one last time to, that uh, thank you very much for uh, being a part of the music program over the past four years. Um, I have enjoyed having each and every one of them in class, and uh, I will miss each and every one of them dearly. And one other thing that I always like to say, seniors, is that uh, if you ever need anything, if there's any, ever anything that I can do, if you need a letter of recommendation, if you need a musician for your wedding someday, if uh, you just want to talk and hang out, and when you're old enough, go have a beer. Um, you know, I'm always around, so 
don't be afraid to, to call me, and, uh, and I'm more than happy to do anything for you, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you so much. Cool. Our last song is titled Poker Face by Lady Gaga from 2008. And this was rather amazing, I thought. It topped the charts in 20 different countries. 20 different countries. It was the best-selling single worldwide in 2009, and it is considered one of the best-selling singles of all time. I hope you enjoy our final song of the evening, evening Poker Face by Lady Gaga.